Hey, it's uh, Dr. Bill with uh, just the tip of uh, urology school. We're going to talk about epididymitis. I was going to talk about something totally different today, but uh, Jen uh, gave us a request, uh, one of our uh, many students who's not officially enrolled in urology school, but uh, is thinking about it. So we want to make sure that we uh, answer and address uh, Jen's concerns on epididymitis. Very common. We see that a lot. The big differential is to make sure that you're not dealing with a torsion. The history is very different. The exam is very different. Sometimes you have to do uh, some testing to make sure that there's good uh, blood flow. But in general, epididymitis or inflammation of the tubes around the testicle the epididymis can be from a variety of uh, sources. One, in guys uh, under 35 years of age, statistically, we see epididymitis as more of a function of a sexually transmitted uh, disease, gonorrhea or chlamydia. Uh, we can also see it with uh, enteric uh, infections from normal uh, urinary tract infections. It can also be seen as a function of Foley catheter or intermittent catheter use. So be aware of that. Uh, the complaints uh, can be significant. Uh, febrile, uh, burning uh, with urination, irritability associated with a bladder infection, uh, maybe some uh, signs and symptoms of a sexually transmitted uh, disease, uh, recent exposure to a new partner, even urethral uh, discharge. A number of uh, bacteria that we see, sometimes we can even see this as a function of uh, chronic tuberculosis. So be aware of that in travel uh, to uh, different uh, endemic uh, areas where TB may uh, flourish. Uh, on physical exam, it can be associated with a reactive hydrocele fluid around the testicle. Uh, the testis itself may not necessarily uh, be tender, but the epididymis, the tubes surrounding inferiorly, posteriorly, and superiorly may not only be uh, thickened, but uh, very tender and warm to touch. In severe cases, you can see fixation of the, of the scrotal contents uh, to the scrotal wall. That can be uh, associated with orchitis and even an abscess of the testis and uh, the uh, epididymis itself. When you have something that you're not bulletproof uh, certain on, get an ultrasound. It, uh, it will uh, show up the epididymal enlargement and uh, in duration uh, nicely. Uh, based on your history, your physical exam, and the demographics, you, there are IM injections of medications uh, along with uh, PO medications as well, doxycycline, uh, different uh, uh, penicillins, as well as uh, fluoroquinolones. Also, symptomatic treatment with scrotal support, uh, sitz baths, and um, anti-inflammatories are, are actually uh, good to be uh, are, are good uh, treatments associated with uh, this kind of malady. On physical exam, also use scrotal elevation. You can often see relief of uh, complaints uh, during your physical exam and hence the value of scrotal support. Look for uh, any other associated uh, uh, complaints uh, like urinary tract infections as well. Uh, patients should be followed closely to make sure there's improvement. Uh, if uh, things uh, progress, rarely do you need um, um, hospitalization and IV antibiotics as well. So there are a lot of things that um, can be done for this. It's pretty common. Mostly you need reassurance to let patients know it's, it's going to improve. Follow them uh, to see what needs to be done and how they're progressing. Uh, Dr. Bill, with just the tip of urology school discussing Jen's concerns of epididymitis.